hidden by the beauty, a very real danger sits in plain sight. We had like a foot of beautiful powder all day, and it was just absolutely phenomenal runs all day. <laughs> At nearly 12,000 feet, tourists here for the pictures, mixed with backcountry thrill seekers. You know, the people who ride this, they know that that's not a safe spot to ride right now. Two avalanches were triggered near Loveland Pass within a matter of minutes this afternoon. As rescue crews responded to one. As we were headed down, another slide occurred at the same time on Idiot's Cornice. Idiot's Cornice. Kind of a fitting name, unfortunately. It's got quite the reputation up here. So that cornice up on that ridge, we call that Idiot's Cornice, because um, it's a really dangerous thing to, to ride this time of the season. Jordan Champlow saw the helicopter and dozens of rescuers arrive. You know, they're out here with helicopters and snowmobiles, and, and they're making sure that we're all safe, and, and then you're going to go up there and cause an avalanche. It's, that's it's not a good move. Your only signs that a slope's about to slide might be that it rips out underneath you. Jake Smith responded with Alpine Rescue Team. He fears the dangerous conditions mixed with the long weekend will keep him busy. You know, the holiday weekend hasn't even started yet, and we're already starting to respond to calls. Avalanches have killed four people in three weeks in Colorado. The snow conditions might seem stable until they're not. We're in this awkward phase where the snowpack seems a little bit more stable, and so it's harder for people to get those obvious signs of instability, like shooting cracks and lumping and things that they might expect to see. When beauty collides with danger, it's probably best to stay away from Idiot's Cornice. I understand why one would like to do it, because it is such a beautiful line, but it, at the end of the day, it's just not a safe thing to do right now. It's just not.